Hey there, my fellow lunatics, and welcome to Dakin's Madhouse. Necklaces. Today's tier list focuses on which necklaces upgrade well and are worth the cost. Let's just get started, shall we? So, what are we ranking? How are we ranking? This tier list contains my opinions on which items are worth upgrading and which ones not so much. Now, I'm basing my opinions off of the stats of the items at various levels without reinforcement and whether the item itself is just useful in general or how its stats compare to other items of the same type. I also think it's worth mentioning that if you use the item a lot and you think it's worth upgrading, then it's worth upgrading. I'm not telling you how to play. The devs did a great job with the upgrade system to make a lot of items worthwhile at various levels. So if an item is working for your play style and you want to keep using it, do so. So what is each tier going to stand for? Let's start with S tier. This tier is the cream of the crop. The best items that are always worth upgrading are going to be here. A tier contains items that are usually worth leveling up to 18, either because you may use them a lot or because its level 18 bonus is just worthwhile. B tier items may not be worth leveling up to 18, but they will stay with you for a long time and be useful at many different levels. C tier items are items that are worth putting a few levels into, but really only to tide you over until you can replace it with something better. Then we've got D tier items, which really aren't worth upgrading at all, but if you put a level or two into them, it won't be the end of the world. And of course, F tier items are a complete waste of time to upgrade. Don't even bother. All right, let's go ahead and get started with the Ammonite necklace. This one I am going to go ahead and throw into C tier. It's not a bad early game necklace, but it's not really worth upgrading fully and it will be easily replaced. Then we have got the Ancient Gem Necklace, and this one is going into D tier because the upgrades really just are not worth the cost. Speaking of upgrades not worth the cost, the Ancient Guardian Necklace is going right into F tier, and unless you're going for a damage reduction build, it's a complete waste of time. However, if you are going for a damage reduction build, it does skyrocket up a bit to the B tier. Then we have got the Atlantean Worm Necklace, and this one I I want to put it into A tier because it is such a good item, but I'm actually going to put it into B tier. You do only need to upgrade it once, but the upgrades really aren't all that great. However, it is only one level, and it's a solid upgrade, so if you've got the resources and you're using the necklace, go for it. Then we have Azios's Beak Necklace, and this one is also going to go into B tier, but that's because this one you get pretty early in the game, and it's a pretty good necklace. You'll upgrade it well, and it will last you for a good long time. The Black Necklace. This one is going into A tier, and it is a top tier mining necklace. It is definitely worth the upgrades. The only reason I'm not putting it into S tier is because there are a few other mining necklaces that I think are better. So it, it's really a toss up. The, when, you, when you get to the high levels of mining, there are a lot of options in how you put your build together. So this is a really good necklace and is worth upgrading. All right, the Blob Rosary Necklace is next, and this one I'm going to put into C tier, as the upgrades for it are solid, and by the time you upgrade it a bit, they can stack up to endgame numbers. However, you are more likely to replace this with something else that fits your build better, so it's unlikely that you will level it up to 18. The Bone Necklace is next, and I'm putting this one into F tier, though the necklace itself is fine, the upgrades are just too much cost for too little reward. 
the Bubble Pearl Necklace. This one is going into C tier as it's not a bad dodge necklace and it is worthwhile if you have the room to sacrifice just dodge in general for other abilities. This can be a really, really good necklace. The Cave Guppy Necklace. This one used to be a throwaway necklace before the upgrade system, but now I'll put this one into A tier as you can upgrade it to one of the best dodge necklaces in the game and you get it right at the very beginning by fishing it up in the dirt biome. A wonderful necklace. The Conch Shell Necklace is next and while this is one of my favorite necklaces, I am going to put it into D tier because the upgrades are just too little for too much. It's only worth upgrading a couple of levels and really only if it is something that you're using for your build. Otherwise, it's just not worth it. The Copper Cross Necklace is going into A tier. As fully leveled up, it is the best crit hit chance necklace in the game. It is an amazing necklace and you get it very, very early. The Coral Amulet is next. And this one is going into F tier as the polished version of it is better in every way. Don't waste your time, just get the polished version. Next, we've got Yoster's Necklace, and I'm currently gonna put this one into D tier, as if you need a little bit of extra harvest to get yourself to 100%, you can put some levels into it. But unless the devs change how they're handling harvest chance above 100%, this isn't gonna be worthwhile to do much to. However, if that does change, this will go up to A tier. Now we've got the Fang Necklace, and this one I'm putting into B tier. It is a really, really strong necklace that you get really early in the game, and it will upgrade well, so you can use it for a long time. Definitely worth the upgrades. The Flame Necklace is going into A tier, as this one is really, really strong, especially since you only need a few levels to upgrade it, and it is a really good necklace for the burn builds. The Fusion Chunk Necklace. This one is going into D tier. The upgrades are absolute crap. However, in the early game, if you do need a couple of levels and a couple of upgrades to it, it really couldn't hurt. The Glass Bead Necklace. This is our first S tier necklace. The Glass Bead Necklace is brand new to the Shimmering Frontier update, and it is amazing. It is a really, really good necklace, and the upgrades are absolutely worth the cost. The Gold Crystal Necklace, I'm going to put this one into C tier, as it isn't bad in the early game, but its upgrades do have a bit of diminishing returns as it gets higher up there, so you're not going to want to take it to 18. The Grub Egg Necklace, this one is actually going to go into B tier, as melee users can upgrade this item for a long time and make good use out of it for a while. The Heart Bearing Necklace, this one is going to go into C tier. The upgrades are excellent and it is good for hit point regeneration, but it's not the best necklace in, in general and you're probably going to replace it with something better. But if it is what you're wearing right now, spend some points in it. The Iron Chunk Necklace. This one is going into F tier. It only provides an armor boost and the upgrades really aren't that great. If you're going to get a Chunk Necklace, get the Scarlet Chunk Necklace. It's a better version. Next, we have got the Mold Vein Necklace, and this one is also going to go into C tier, as the upgrades are decent and you really don't have to spend a lot of levels on it, but it does get a bit expensive. It may not be worth taking it to 18 or spending any gems on it, but a few levels definitely is worthwhile. Neptune's Necklace is next, and this one is going into F tier, as Raising your fishing score is a complete waste of time and resources. It doesn't really do anything. The Nomad Necklace is next, and this one is going into A tier. It is an excellent general purpose necklace and well worth the upgrade cost. You can use this well into end game. Solid necklace. The Ocean Heart Necklace. Despite my heart always going on, it is a D tier necklace. The upgrades are weak and it is just way too expensive. The Octarine Necklace is even worse at an F tier. The polished version of it is better in every way. Just wait and get your hands on the polished version instead. Omaros Necklace, however, is going right up into A tier, 
as it offers a lot and has excellent upgrades. And while not every level the upgrade is all of that good, by the time you stack it all together, it is worth spending the points. The polished copper cross necklace is going into B tier. It doesn't have the best crit hit, it doesn't have the best crit damage, but it is the best at doing both of them at the same time when it comes to necklaces. So it is really good and it is definitely worthwhile. The Polished Coral Amulet, this one is going into D tier, as it is a largely useless necklace unless you really need that boat speed boosted. All right, next on the list, we've got the Polished Gold Crystal Necklace, and this one is going into C tier. The upgrades are pretty decent, the stats are decent, but the necklace itself is just kind of mid-range and you're going to replace it, so you're not really going to ever take it to 18. The same is kind of true of the Polished Iron Chunk Necklace. Its stats are decent, the upgrades are fine, but there are better necklaces. And honestly, to just round this out quickly, the Polished Octarine Necklace and the Polished Scarlet Chunk Necklace are all the same basic thing. They're mid-range, the upgrades are fine, but you're gonna replace them with something better at some point. Ra'akar's Necklace, this one is going right into A tier as it is an excellent necklace and the upgrades are absolutely worth the price. It is the best necklace for Thorn builds, but it is useful in a wide variety of builds, so definitely worth it. Then we have got the Rema Daisy necklace and oh this one I think you guys know where this one's gonna go. That's right it's going right into F tier as the effects for this one do not change at all. There is no reason to ever ever upgrade this. It doesn't even have an upgrade essentially. The rusted necklace though this one is going right into S tier as it is the best mining necklace hands down. Although recently it did get a bit of competition and we'll get to that one in just a minute. The Sawin offering necklace is next and this one is going into C tier as the life on melee hit actually upgrades pretty well, but the penalties in it also upgrade a lot. And so it's probably not worth upgrading it to level 18. It's finding that balance between the life on hit bonus and the damage penalty that you take. The Scarlet Chunk Necklace, this one is going into D tier as a few levels into it for the armor upgrade aren't that bad, but it is really a replaceable necklace. The Skull Necklace, this one I am actually going to put into B tier as the hit point penalty for it really isn't that bad, but the speed upgrade that you get is kind of nuts. So it's worth it if you're going for a kind of a speed build. The Torque Necklace, this one is going right into S tier as it is a really, really strong damage necklace and is very useful in multiple builds. And that mining contender that I mentioned, well, that would be this one. This is the Tower Shell Necklace, which I'm actually going to put into A tier. You only have to upgrade it once, which makes it a really, really good upgrade, but it is not quite as good of a necklace as the Rusted Necklace is, with some exceptions. Since the Rusted Necklace deals with percentages and the um, Tower Shell Necklace deals with raw mining damage, the Tower Shell Necklace can provide a bigger boost depending on your other gear. So it is something to keep in mind when you're comparing the two. The Valentine's Necklace is next and bucking the trend of seasonal items being absolute crap. The Valentine Necklace is going right into A tier. The upgrades are amazing, it is worth the cost, however it has extremely super limited use, but that use is very, very effective when leveled up. Now the Wild Warden Necklace, if I were to judge this thing completely by itself, I would put this into D tier, as the upgrades really aren't all that great, however, taking into account the rest of the set and everything else that you're going to get cumulatively, it kind of jumps this thing up into an A tier item because you are going to use the Wild Warden necklace with the rest of the Wild Warden set. 
and that makes the upgrades for it worth spending the money. And I think that just about wraps it up for today's video. I hope you enjoyed yourself, and until next time, stay crazy.